Jamie Wall. Special moments after this. You're a man in demand. What a win. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. I haven't had a chance to think straight, really, Tommy. Um, it's unreal. Jesus, it's so nice to have your hands back on this thing after after seven seven years, yeah. Um, she's like, we've given it some rattles in different years, and the last two years have been disappointing. We haven't won a game, but, like, we've had a lot of these guys have been through that, and we knew we were kind of building something, and um, just to be here to win it, it's just incredible, and to do it against such a strong outfit, such a strong opposition, you know, like... We weren't given a whole pile of a chance during the week and, um, you know, we said to the boys, we said it to them in the hotel, we said it to them in the dressing room, we said, you know, this might be a surprise to everyone in the country, uh, but it was not going to be a surprise to us, you know. We were 5-2 to two the first day out against UCC, we won that game by eight points, we were 3-1 to one today, we won that game, you know, probably, probably left a few scores behind us too, like, we are just, we know what quality is in that room, do you know what I mean? And, and more than that, what just fucking spirit and belief and drive to have Jesus like I, they're just they're a team you could be so proud of like Jesus to say like I don't know I don't know like they, they say that teams mirror their kind of management and that like but I don't think I've ever done anything what like what them fellas have shown there they're just fucking animals like they're just they're unbelievable like those two boys midfield what they go through what they what work they do do you know like Connor Hennessy probably shouldn't have been playing today and the shift he put in for 45 minutes like he's just an animal like and, and Quinner like like Jesus I look I could go on all day because I'll start on about fellas and I'll be I'll bore you Tommy but like just you you'll be so proud to call them your players it's just amazing like and I know myself I speak for the management there I, I, I hate the word I do you know when you hear managers talking and saying I it's just it's a red flag for me like like we are so proud of them do you know like myself Mark uh, Mark Jennery who's he's not here today because he's with Nina CBS and Podge, obviously my cousin and Scotty, our our man, our man there on the side, like, like we're just so we're just so proud of them, like, and just to say that they're the players that go out and represent us on the field, like Jesus, like what more could you ask? Talk to me about the seven years between winning the last one, Mary I second, and winning the third today, because three is obviously an important number today. You well were chasing three in a row, Mary I were chasing their third ever. One of the things that really stands out, and it's probably one of the special ingredients with a Fitzgibbon or a college's team, is the family kind of spirit and the environment and the energy. How do you build that? How does that foster? Uh, you don't build it, it happens. It happens or it doesn't, you know? Like, them fellas have it or they don't. Um, look, like, that's seven years. Like, I suppose we're talking here, like, about, oh, it's seven years since he won it and five years since the final, like, as if it's some sort of famine. But, like, like for Mary, I, like, yeah, it's incredible to be winning them every seven years. Jesus, if we said that, if we said that 10, 20 years ago, that, that Mary, I'd win if it's given every six or seven years, we'd, uh, you'd have been committed, like, so I just think, um, like, we've been in a final since we lost to a great UCC team. We lost the semi final way to, to a Sierra Savage Carlo team. Um, you know, like, then we've, we've had some near misses, but, like, when I, I'm saying I again there, like, well, when, when, when we came into this job, you know, I spoke to Kira and Joe in the sports office and my pitch wasn't that we were going to win the Fitzgibbon every year. It was that we were going to be competitive all the time. We were going to establish Mary Eye as a place where you didn't have to choose between doing teaching and having a hurling career. Do you know, that it was just there for you and we'd build that. And, you know, like for us to now be constantly dining at the top table of hurling with the numbers we have, is just a testament to the young fellas coming into the place and the attitude they have and, and they buy in do you know like I spoke to Fionn McDonough today who's lost two Fitzgibbon finals with NUIG and you know, he spoke about uh, the spirit in here he's only in the door a wet week and how he's welcome he's been made feel and do you know the group that's there it's just it's something that just it makes you so proud of, of them and to be involved with it and like look like I, I, there's so many things I want to say that are probably I'm probably going to they're like all the comebacks you think of when you're in the shower after you say I should have said that to the fucker but um, like I'll think of loads of them later I'll probably send you a voice note or something but like no, I'll, I'll play it out if you do but Jamie like the, the, the madness of that game right there, it, you had an unbelievable start and sometimes that can be a dangerous thing and then you go in at half time and UL have come back into it that goal yeah. four points up but they had the momentum and it, there was a period in that match where you, you felt like you couldn't get your hands on the ball or make it stick well, what kind of dug it out there? Was it Podge Collins getting that yellow card? <laughs> yeah, Podge was. It was. Uh, Podge has been known to agitate a few referees in his time. Um, nah, look, look. Just I think what dug it out was Shane O'Brien probably um, came out to the came out to the half forward line, won a few balls. Like he um, he's able to do that. Like you know, I spoke to his uncle Poddy weeks and weeks ago, and Poddy says to me, 
do you know not to be afraid to do that every now and then with him do you know that he sometimes maybe if he's going to stay inside that that that's an option with him and he's so good at it like it's something we used to do with with Aaron years and years ago back in back in 2017 do you know um where he kind of sometimes he'd be inside he's such a threat inside like you know but then he can come out win a ball and and Shane did that for us like and you know you kind of forget that he's still under 20 this year like you know they're calling him the bull like that's um what was his feel today yeah, absolutely. The the journey up the road today, you, you passed by a familiar haunt. Yeah, I did. It was it was kind of emotional on the way up. Even like you know, you spoke about that family connection, but you know, we obviously have it. Myself and Podge, um, we're first cousins. We're best friends a long, long time, um, and we kind of grew up together playing football in hurling against each other, with each other. But one of the battlegrounds was our grandparents' farm in Cullen, and I didn't realise it because I went home last night. We met last night in Limerick, and I just said, you know what, I stay in my own bed, and I went home. And I typed into the sat nav this morning for, for the Devon Inn there in Temple Glanton and the route took me by Churchill in, in Mal, on, on the Mallow Road in Cullen and I kind of did a double take. I said, Jesus, that's going past Nana's house. And sure, it was. And so we went past uh, Nana's house and um, our uncle's house as well that has still has the pitch and on, on, it's literally on the main Mallow Clarney Road. And like we had so many days where we kicked lumps out of each other in that field and just to drive past it this morning was a kind of reminder of what this is all about and what it's been about for us and it's just um it's it's kind of you know like i said i said it in tg Carr, I said that this is for for our grandparents um you know our nana and granda granda who's no longer with us but you know that this kind of they'd be so proud of the connection that that their that their 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 descendants still have and so happy with that and it's a mark of them and i suppose it's just um yeah, it's just it's just it just adds to the emotion of the whole thing. It's marvelous. Jamie, it's it's magic. That cup in your hands, give us a look at it there. You'll uh, you'll mind that man. Unbelievable, special. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Yeah, it is 100%. I've got Adam Hogan, Dermot Ryan, and Jamie in here, boys. With Gibbon Cup champions, you did it the hard way. Dermot, first you. Uh, yeah, look, um, I suppose last few few matches we've maybe let teams into it, but um, look, I know, like we, I just, I, I backed us coming down the straight there. I know I, there was not once we panicked. We knew, look, we brought on the subs, but uh, look, it's hard way to do. But what a sweet way to win! I, I think one or two in the end, but it's uh, look, it's so sweet to do with these lads, and it's uh, yeah, it's just unbelievable feeling. Now. Shane, uh, you had an unbelievable start. Uh, you welcome back into it as you probably expected they were chasing three in a row uh, probably had a tough enough afternoon until that little bit of wizardry along the wing there you needed that score uh, yeah look we kind of we put a big emphasis on starting well and uh, we started well and we knew saying at half time we knew you all were going to get to a purple patch and then it was just whether we could respond or not and knowing the lads we had we, we responded and we got a few scores and won the freeze and thank god we got on top for a finish Guillermo, that, uh, there was a moment there where I think the referee paid advantage and you made a block and I went back for the free. Game win a block there. That was like uh, Conor Gormley against McDonald back in the day. Well, to be honest, no, when it happened, I thought I kind of stopped up thinking it was a free and the ball popped out to the side. And look, if, if it all went in, there would have been no... We would have been kicking ourselves for not going forward. So look, it's one of those things. Troy said in front of it, hope it hits you. Thank God it did. Adam, they had a run on you there from just before half time. They got that goal, started the second half there on top of you. There was this period where it felt like you couldn't get a hold of the ball. I think some of your driving runs out of defence was a big thing. Were you worried there at, you know, 15 minutes to go there when you well got that swing of momentum? Um, kind of. We knew, um, I said to Jason, we need to work the ball out. And um, we knew the players we have, <coughs> likes of PJ, Cole Quinn coming in the midfield. That's our, that's our game, really, to run through up and hit likes of me in sight. Because, like, we got the pace like me and, and uh, Shane O'Brien inside, why wouldn't you hit them? But I felt we did well with our purple patch, like two points, but we kept them going and that was the spirit of my eye, I suppose. Lads, what's it like to win a Fitzgibbon Cup? Because uh, it's obviously just happened to you, but you, you're obviously teammates at county level, friends growing up, uh, you're mixing with other counties. Come on, give me, what is this like, you? I suppose it's it's a uh, it's, it's 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 really special the fact that look those 15 lads that took the field today will never ever play with each other again in uh, in 15 and look we we play we win we'll win all Ireland together and we'll go out now next weekend and we'll meet Tipperary in the championship and we'll try and tear the heads off each other so I think it's just a it's a really special a really special competition we've been long enough trying to to get it I've, I'm coming to the last year now playing Fitz so it's a uh, it's a great way to finish it it's really sweet but uh, no just such a special memory now to have. Shane, can you believe you've done it? Because you would have been outsiders coming into this. Uh, to be honest, we said it the other night in the dressing room, like every single one of us in the dressing room believed we were going to do it. And uh, we said there are not many people outside the dressing room would believe it. And uh, now it's kind of just sinking in now a little bit. But uh, look, we're just absolutely excited. Talk to me a bit about Jamie Wall. Seven years since he last led uh, Mary Eye to Fitzgibbon Cup title. He's done it again. Some of the scenes at the end there were unbelievable with himself and his cousin, Podge Collins, your coach. What's that management team like to play for? 
uh, my first year here really I didn't realise really didn't think what to, when I was coming in what it would be like but um, it's basically like inter-county Jamie so and Podge are so well aware I know Podge played the highest level and Jamie himself did but they're all just down to earth lads and Jamie you couldn't meet nicer than Jamie you do anton for us and I think that's a special thing about Mary I they do anton for us like we entered a recovery room there last week and Podge came in and gave us this um Hydration thing, like I don't think you see that likes any other college. He just loves it, and we couldn't thank the two boys enough. Dear, talk to us a bit about this because you'd know Podge, obviously. You won a county title with him a few months ago. What was that like this year, especially with Jamie? You've been under Jamie for the last couple of years. Yeah, look, like myself and Colin, we've been with Jamie from the from the start and took us in under freshers. And look, Adam covered it there. He's a he's an inspirational man. Inspir- what he's been through in his own journey, I suppose, and then to come through and what he's done for this group of players as as people and as players. It's uh, look, we we'll never forget that. But look, Podge, you know him as well, Tommy. Anything he puts his mind to, he's going to give it 100. percent And look, maybe he was just a fella. He got yellow, but sure, look, that's it. he was driving us on. You could feel the passion when he was bringing in. And look, he's just have that bit of extra piece as well at the like. He said play at the top level, just probably got us over the line today. Uh, last one, boys, I'll let you get back to the celebrations. The balance with inter county and Fitzgibbon, right? It's not ideal that games are on at this time of the year. The pitches are, well, Abidorney held up well. It's tough conditions to play in. Was there a little bit more wriggle room this year with, uh, with Brian Lowen? Did you feel that communication was there? And could you manage it that bit better this year? Um, yeah, no, look, they're brilliant. They, they kind of know when you're with the county. Jamie uh, knows we're with the county, or knows we're working hard. And Brian knows we're with uh, Mary He knows there's no drop in the level like we're putting in the yards there. So, look, it's it's kind of well ran in the sense it's your games, games, games. Like we played only Wednesday night and we're straight into the final now, like it's done then, do you know? Yeah. So it's good. Shane Meehan, Adam Hogan, Dear Ryan, congratulations on winning the Fitzgibbon Cup. Looking forward to seeing what you do this year.